that she would come home But I'm just trying to balance my space I'm just trying Hey YouTube, it's Merce16 here and today I'm doing a video on um, 15 things I wish I knew before I came to college uh, My paper almost failed, that's why I had to catch it real quick But I just got 15 things, like I made a list so I wouldn't I came to college uh, my paper almost failed that's why I had to catch it real quick but I just got 15 things like I made a list so I wouldn't be like dragging on this video because I know 15 things is a lot and I like to over explain so hopefully this video won't be too long and hopefully I'll give you guys some good information out there like um, freshmen that are coming to college next year um, will have some knowledge so the first thing that I, oh yeah, and just to like establish credibility, um, I'm a freshman, but this is my second semester here. So we're about halfway through the semester and I feel like I kind of have a lot of information like that freshmen would want. So here I am. First thing, um, if you're gonna drink, make sure that you do it with people you trust because people in college, you, you really don't know these people like you might think you do. Like people always have ulterior motives. They could be plotting on you and you don't even know it. And especially like when you're drunk because you're super vulnerable and people will take advantage of that if they have the chance. So please make sure like, especially if you're a girl, cause girls are even more vulnerable, but just make sure whoever you surround yourself with when you're drunk, make sure that you have somebody like a friend or a family member even that you trust to be with you who's not gonna be drunk. So they can like take care of you and make sure like nobody tries to take advantage of you make sure you're safe make sure you get back to your room your dorm apartment whatever is safe it's like the most important thing is staying safe so make sure you have someone with you like that um the next one is basically me speaking to myself um don't go into college looking for a relationship and what i mean by this is like most people like when they're freshmen in college they're not on a mission to find the love of their life they kind of just want to wild out and do whatever that's fine um that's them that's not what i want to do but i found like i found this out the hard way most dudes in college don't want a relationship so don't try to force it don't try to put up with stuff that you know you would normally put up with just because you want a relationship like it's not worth it you're worth more than that you know i feel like <clears throat> I'm getting kind of sick. It's like, this weather is crazy. It's like, um, it was 23 degrees. Right now it's 33 degrees, but it was super cold this morning. But that's beside the point. Yeah, don't go into college looking for a relationship because most dudes don't want a relationship and it'll be a waste of time to go into college uh, trying to make it work with somebody who it's not meant to be, Not it's not gonna work with. So just don't do that. Uh, and I'm not speaking for all dudes or girls, most people, don't want a relationship but some do so maybe you'll find somebody who does but just don't go into college thinking that you're gonna have the love of your life the first semester you get here because that's more than likely not gonna happen um next don't rely on your friends to do everything with you and what i mean by this is like some things your friends don't want to do they're not going to want to do and that's fine you can't get mad at your friends for not wanting to do stuff that you don't want to do just make sure that um you still enjoy yourself. You still go out to events, programs, stuff that you want to go to. Don't let your friends not wanting to go hinder you from going to experience something like that could be the best time you ever had in college and you would have missed out on it because your friends didn't want to go, so you didn't go. So just make sure that you're enjoying your time in college and living your best life basically and not relying on other people to do stuff with you because by the time you're in college, you are grown or pretty much grown. Um, so you don't need anybody to go anywhere with you. You can go places by yourself. You don't need a friend every time you go somewhere. And also like you could go to an event or a program and find your best friend for life and you would have missed out on it because you didn't go because your other friends didn't want to go. So just don't let other people stop you from having opportunities or going places that you want to go. Um, the next one is kind of, Silly, but it's still important. I think having a friend with a car is pretty important. Um, I have a friend with a car, but I didn't even know he had a car before we became friends. So that's obviously not why I'm his friend, but still like it's pretty convenient 
having a friend with a car if you don't have a car in college because i don't have a car at all um let alone in college so um <laughs> i definitely need someone to like take me places not that i like use him for his car because like i don't but yeah it's nice to have like a friend who has a car because if you want to go to like a party that's off campus or you need to go to the store and get like some groceries or like self-care items or something you have someone to do that for you so yeah it's pretty nice um yeah but just don't like go looking for people with the car like if you happen to have a friend with the car that's fine but like if you don't it's always another way to do stuff don't use people um the next one is don't go to class with pajamas on and i've seen a lot of people in college do this it's not a good look especially like if you you might find your future employer on campus and they see you wearing pajamas they're gonna think you're not professional and they're not gonna want to hire you because they saw you wearing pajamas or you might find a super cute boy and you're wearing pajamas and they're not gonna want to talk to you because they don't they think you're like sloppy or something so just don't wear pajamas like you can wear sweatpants and you can have your lazy days i'm not saying you have to dress up every day because i definitely don't but like don't wear pajamas because it's not a good look it's embarrassing actually um become friends with your professor now i personally am not friends with my professor but like i communicate with them like they know my face so it's important for your professor to know your face because anything could happen like you could end up with the uh 89.9 .9, and some teachers will round it up for you if they know that you're always coming to class, you're always doing your work, you're always asking questions, engaged in the conversation. But if you're one of those kids who like sits there and never answers any questions, never asks anything, never participates, they're not gonna wanna round your grade up because they're gonna be like, they don't ever come to class, I don't know them, they don't deserve this 90. So just make sure you your professor knows who you are and you go to class and you pay attention in class. Um, don't go to every party. and. I'm, what I mean by this is like, you can go to some parties, but every party is not for you. Like, it's not. And people think like, once you come to college, like party, 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 that's all you do. Party, 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 like party every weekend. That's not the case. Like, you don't need to go to a party every weekend. Sometimes it's okay to like, take some time for yourself and stay in, watch Netflix, catch up on some homework or something. You don't have to go party every single weekend. and. You also don't have to go home every weekend because like i know some kids from my high school that go that go to the same college as me they go to parties well they don't go to parties i mean they go home every weekend it's like why are you going home so much like i mean i guess maybe they might miss their family or something but still like give your family time to miss you like you go home every weekend they're not they're gonna get tired of you it's gonna be like you're still in high school so don't do that don't go home every weekend and don't go to parties every weekend that's where i was going okay next is don't pick a major that you don't like and what i mean by this is like um i know a couple people who are computer science majors and they hate it and i'm like why are you doing something that you hate like you should do something that you like you're paying thousands of dollars to get a degree in something that you hate going to class you hate waking up every morning because you have to learn about it like that's a terrible life to live trust me um so don't choose a major that you don't like like make sure that whatever major you're doing you like it you enjoy it because it's gonna be a long four years doing a major or having a major that you don't like um next be roommates with people you have common interests with and what i mean by this is like um if you have common interests with your roommate more than likely y'all are gonna have common friends so like if you have a friend in the dorm then they'll most likely know them and like it won't be as awkward as like this random person is in my room i don't know them i don't trust them because some people like they don't like having people in their room because they don't trust them um so just make sure like y'all have common interests like um in my dorm well my roommate she's never here but like if I had a roommate, like if my roommate had common interests with me and she was here, we could both watch the same thing on TV. Like we could hang out with each other. I'm not saying that you have to be best friends with your roommate, 
I just feel like you shouldn't be total strangers because you're not gonna like them. They're not gonna like you because y'all are gonna do things totally different. So just make sure y'all are kind of like in the same circle. Um, you don't have to be best friends with the, your roommate because that can end terribly. So just make sure that y'all are like at least cordial or like in the same circles or something. Um, next, this kind of goes with what I was saying, but don't go to class with your pajamas on because that can be distracting, but also paying attention in class. Like, I know a whole bunch of kids who text in class. I'm guilty. <laughs> um, Cause like, especially with the watch, you can just like text all you want and it's easy. It like, you don't even have to pull your phone out. So I think <laughs> that is kind of a, um, a distraction but still like when you're in when you're in class like don't be on your phone the whole time like you might pull it out to check it a couple times or something but don't just sit up there on your phone the whole time because you're paying your money for that class like you're paying to learn so you need to be present and attentive in class and you don't need to be on your phone scrolling on Instagram because you can do that anytime but you can't be in class anytime so just make sure that you're making good of the time that you have in class because you you only meet in class probably two or three times a week. So it's like not even every day. So you need to take advantage of the time you have and make sure you're paying attention, taking notes, getting all the information you need, asking questions, participating, stuff like that. Um, the next one is don't talk while the professor is talking. Now, it hasn't really been a big issue in my classes to have people like talking while the professor is talking, but I think it's rude because if you were doing a presentation or something, you wouldn't want people talking while you were doing yours. Like, I feel like they should have your attention, especially if they're trying to give you knowledge to do good in their class. Like, you want to do good in their class, so I feel like you need to pay attention. Unless it's something like dire that you need to tell someone in the class, I'm pretty sure it can wait until after class. And it's also like distracting to other students because they have to sit there and listen to your conversation while they're trying to focus instead of listening to the teacher, so. Don't talk while the professor is talking, it's annoying. And if you're still talking while the teacher is talking, like obviously you're not paying attention, so you need to get out. Like I, I really hate when people do that. Like if I was a professor, I would kick them out because I don't like having my time wasted. I like getting to the point and like if you're talking, then you're wasting my time. If you're talking while the professor is talking, then you're wasting my time because now I'm focused on you. I'm not focused on what the professor is trying to say. So just don't talk while the professor is talking. Like, don't. Um, the next one is do extra credit. And extra credit can really pull in like at the last minute. Because I know like last semester, I think I had a, a borderline grade. I don't remember what it was, but it was like right there on the edge. And like, if I would have done, well, my, my grade went over eventually because I did good on the final. But if I would have done the, uh, the extra credit that she had, I would have been way over. So I feel like doing the extra credit is is vital. Like you could, it could literally save your grade. So I feel like whenever you have an extra credit thing do, and let, as long as it's not like too extreme and it's like, you know, easy to do or it's not too difficult, then I feel like you should do it. And you never know, like even if you do it and you don't do good, you might still get some bonus points. So, um, don't you don't have to do what everybody else does what i mean by this is like it kind of goes hand in hand with the party thing like you don't have to go to every single party you don't have to go to every event you don't have to feel i don't in college like it might be easy to feel forced to go to things but i promise like you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do if you want to sit in your room and watch netflix that's fine like you can do that i'm not saying that you have to go um to South Padre where everybody's going for spring break because that's where everybody's going for spring break in my school and I really wanted to go but I can't uh, but yeah you don't have to go everywhere where everybody else is going like it's okay to miss out sometimes you don't have to feel forced to hang out with people that you don't like like you it's college like you're grown pretty much I'm not that's why I keep saying pretty much because some people in college are like 17 like me but Still, like, you you pretty much on your own if you're in college. So I feel like you can make your own decisions. Don't feel forced to do stuff that you don't want to do. Just don't. Um, next is don't forget about your friends and family at home. And I kind of did this a little bit because I was super ready to come to college. I was like, ooh, once I get to college, like, I'm going to 
um, I'm never gonna call y'all like bye. I was pretty much like done. I was ready to come to college and I still kind of feel that way. Like I don't like going home too much, but don't forget about your family because they do care about you. They love you. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. So go home and see them sometimes. But like I said earlier, don't be going home every single weekend because that's boring. Like, especially in my hometown, there's nothing to do there. Everybody's pretty much, everybody that I know is pretty much either in college or they're on their way out. So I, I don't really have a reason to go home. Um, but yeah. Um, don't forget about them because like they love you they care about you they want to talk to you catch up with you you want to talk to them keep in touch with your family like stuff could happen anything could happen at any time and like you might regret not talking to them uh, one last time or something like that so just don't neglect your family because like I said about two or three times now they do care about you they love you they want to talk to you you need to talk to them and make time for your family because that's really important and your friends too from home like make sure that you're keeping up with them um and the last and final one that i have is be open-minded and what i mean by this is like try new things because when you come to college you're not coming to college to be the same old you you're coming to college to be different you're coming to college to meet new people experience different things like study abroad maybe i don't know um just trying new things and I feel like that's pretty important. Like in your college experience, you're here to grow as well as learn. But like, I mean, of course learning is the most important, but still you're here to grow. You're here to um, make life memories with people. Like you're not here to just try the same old things, do the same old things, do the same old things. Like you're here to learn, grow, become better. You know, that's why you're here. So don't be closed minded. Like try different things if you don't like it then charge it to the game keep going like just experience new things don't be the same old person that you were in high school like it's time to grow up it's time to basically develop into your adult self so yeah that's the 15 things that i had um i guess i really won't call this video think 15 things i wish i knew but more 15 things that you should know as a freshman in college because that is some of those things I didn't know. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I had fun making the list because I was just writing down so many different things that I have like so many different tips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Somebody was just right there. I wonder if they heard me, but that doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I mean, I'm starting to make new videos and I want you guys to see them. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I wish you would come home, but I'm just trying to balance my space. I'm just trying to take my space.